We'll pay for, we that. Pay for her training. Do you, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Do you have a follow-up or no? Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Lumber, see if you could resolve the issues. And, and as far as Whittier School goes, I understand that there is construction in the school that you're adding an elevator. Uh, I believe we're going to have to with as many people here. Yeah. And uh, if you. So you don't find it concerning that the reason the school was founded on Montessori principles is basically out the window that this board is not upholding this act, that it's supposed to be a Montessori school and still be striving towards ensuring that every child receives that Montessori education? That's still our goal. We didn't. We didn't ask anybody to resign. We didn't. We fully support. We pay for teachers to go to Montessori training. We can still continue that Montessori philosophy with our in-house staff. When we when we hired the teachers that are leaving, they weren't Montessori trained. When we hired them, we paid for we their paid training. For the so just like we're hiring and moving staff into positions that the children don't. So um, I hope that that helps you understand that this facility is too small. We pay by the square foot here, and every year the square footage goes up and up. Our rent here is now $10,700 a month. And it's getting to the point where it just keeps growing up. And our student enrollment. My wife. And uh, that's not the reason why she's quitting. Um, she, she loves Montessori, yes. It's very passionate for her. Um, she was actually supportive of the move. Not at the not at the timing. Um, and in previous board meetings, they were all given an opportunity to speak. And from what the correspondence from that meeting was, was that they were not given a reaction or an answer to some of their concerns that they had that they expressed to the board. Um, I want you guys to think about that. It was actually the board second. Board. The second. Okay, the board's decision. Uh, Courtney recommended against it, and she didn't think it went to the board, but I wasn't there. I have been to the last three board meetings, and I want to tell you, I've been saying repeatedly that I thought there was a communication problem, and I don't think the board heard me. And if we look at what happened on the day of the resignation, Chad sent out a letter, and if you read that letter, he's told what happened to us, healthy and normal. And that's, that's very disturbing to me. That's the exact phrase in there. If you look, it says the words healthy and normal. And if I had written that letter, it would have been saying, this is a disaster, we get it. We see that this is a problem and changes need to be made. And I worry that that, that perception that there's a problem here hasn't been reached until hopefully tonight. And, and I think the way forward is less of an authoritarian, top-down approach from the board and more of a collaborative approach, the kind of team-building, consensus-building approach that could have got us all on the same page and not had people broke up into two tribes. And I think that's Courtney's approach, the collaborative team building approach. And I'm sorry that she's been trying to say for board meeting after board meeting, slow down, we're making these changes too fast, we have people who are really upset. And it's unfortunate that they didn't listen to her. Um, we also